All right, from Adam. Hello, Andrew. I sincerely hope this reaches you as I have nowhere else to turn. My fiance and I have been engaged for about a year. Shortly after our engagement, we found out she was pregnant. We couldn't have been happier, started doing everything we could together to prepare to bring our child into the world. However, she ended having, up having a miscarriage at 12 weeks. She started going into a downward spiral since then. She's become an alcoholic. She will not open up to me, will not seek counseling with or without me. And it feels more and more like we're not even in a relationship. To top things off, I just found out, ironically, she admitted this while intoxicated, that a few months ago she got really drunk with some people at a bar, ended up going to one of the stranger's house to continue hanging out with everyone and ended up cheating on me with one of them. She claims to have been so drunk that she cannot remember who it was. I cannot begin to tell you how devastated and angry I am at her, not just the adultery, but that she kept acting like nothing happened for months. All I could tell was that she was depressed and kept thinking it was due to the loss of our child, not that she cheated on me and was keeping it from me. I even asked her if she had cheated on me at one point and she lied right to my face. Now that she's told me, she's groveling, saying how sorry she is and how much she loves me. I just don't know if I can trust anything she says, and I'm tempted to throw her out of the house. Any advice would be life-altering. Thank you. Well, that's horrible. It's a really sad story. I'm so sorry you lost the child. Um, I I'm going to be like blunt about this. If I were in this situation, I would get out of it, and I'll tell you why. You're talking about marriage. Marriage is for life. It should be for life. You should be thinking about it for life. Over the course of 40 or 50 years of your life, you're going to laugh together and you're going to cry together. Things, Terrible things are going to happen and good things are going to happen. That's every life, every life. What has happened here is she has revealed that there is some incredible internal structural weakness in her that a moment of grief, which is a true moment of grief, and I'm not in any way belittling her grief, destroyed her, destroyed her morality, destroyed her self-control, destroyed everything about her. Now that, unless you are willing to sign on to someone who in that situation, in a crisis situation, is going to fall apart on you and maybe cheat on you again, I think it's it, it, at this stage in your relationship where you're not married, this is the time to end it. That's what I would do. And I, I know that's hard, and I know it's a hard saying because you might say, well, don't you want to stand by her in her moment of grief? If I were married to her, yes. If I were married to her and we had a child, absolutely. But in the situation that, I, that you're in, this is a warning sign that over the course of the next decades, when things like this will happen, sad, sad things will happen in life, She's not going to be able to handle it. You're going to be alone and you're going to be toting around this wreck of a human being who can't even stay sober enough to keep your relationship intact. So I, I'm, I know it's judgmental, uh, but it's also your future. You're talking about your future. The rest of your life is a long time and uh, you want to find somebody that you can live with uh, in harmony, even in the bad times, because the bad times will come. Uh, all right. Well, that was tough, wasn't it? That was, yeah. But the way I, the way I see it.